Hello friends, today we are going to solve exercise 11.1 .1, question number 2. Construct a triangle of side 4 cm, 5 cm and 6 cm. Means we have to construct a triangle having side 4, 5 and 6 cm. Then a triangle similar to it means we have to draw a triangle similar to this. Whose sides are 2 by 3 of the corresponding sides of the first triangle. Means first we have to look I am drawing a rough figure. Means first we have to draw a triangle of 4, 5 and 6 cm. Then I have to draw a triangle similar to this. In this triangle only means related to here only we have to draw. Whose sides are 2 by 3 of the corresponding first corresponding sides of the first triangle. Means we have to draw 2 parts out of 3 parts. Means this is 3 part. And we have to draw a triangle similar to this having only two parts. So from this I come to know that that triangle will be inside this triangle. This much you have to keep in mind that that triangle will be inside this triangle. If here a numerator is smaller and denominator is greater. Sometimes they will give you numerator greater and denominator smaller. At that time you will get a triangle exterior of the given triangle. Now here the numerator is smaller so this is a proper fraction so in proper fraction you will get a triangle inside in improper fraction you will get a triangle outside of that that you have to keep in mind now we are starting to construct a triangle with side 4 5 and 6 cm look here so first I'm going to draw 6 cm as a base you can take any as a base 4 5 or 6 anything but I'm going to take 5 cm why Be 6 cm sorry because this is the greatest among all. So this will be your A, and this will be your B, and then this is 6 cm. Now we know that other two sides are 4 and 5. So what we have to do? We have to take 4 cm in our rounder. Okay. You can see now arc of 4 cm from here. Then on the other side 5 cm, you can see um, now this is 5 cm intersecting at point C. This point will be C. Now this is our first triangle A, B, N. See. or you can say this is our given triangle ABC now we have to draw a triangle similar to this which is two part of this so what we have to do we have to extend AD that ray should make should be making acute angle with AB you cannot take more than 90 that ray should make acute angle with AB so look here and drawn this ray Yes. Now we know the denominator is 3 so we have to divide this triangle into 3 parts so first I will make 3 arc here. Any measurement you can say 1 cm or 1.5 or I am going to take little bit bigger so that you can see it properly. Look this is the first part, this will be your second part and this will be your third part. Give the names to this point. This will be your A1, A2 and A3 and this will be your acute angle. We can see this is acute. Now what we have to do? We have to join this B to A3. Now we have to, this is three, three parts and we have joined it with the third part. Now we want two parts inside it. So from here we have to draw, join somewhere here so that we will get a triangle inside it. But that line should be parallel to this. So if I want to draw a line parallel to this from A2, uh, I have to make angle here and I have to make corresponding angles equal. So that line will be also parallel. So what I first I have to make a arc you can see. With the same measurement and the same you have to make arc from A2 also with the same measurement. Don't change the measurement. Now you can see. Now 
the distance from the starting and the ending point means intersecting on the line this distance you can see now from here also we have to take that distance ok now line parallel to this you can see this is parallel to this we give this name point, point name b dash now abc was our triangle now we got this line two part of this line now you want two part of this line also but we will not get directly again we have to draw a line parallel to this bc from b dash to here but that line should be parallel to bc so again we have to make corresponding angles like this first i am going to make it here you can see arc from b dash also you have to make us arc with the same measurement then the starting and the ending point of that arc distance you can see um, you can see look with the same measurement again draw arc for me okay. now you will get a line parallel to this You can see I got a line parallel to this. Now this is your point C dash. So now you can say that A, B dash, C dash is the required triangle or that triangle is 2 by 3 of your triangle A, B, C. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you like it, please subscribe to my channel so that I can bring more such videos. Thank you so much.